It was um, about 10 o'clock in the morning. And so I got on the treadmill and I started running and I started to get in just an agonizing pain. And I essentially just hit the deck. And I was able to at least get to our stairs and crawl to the first floor of our house where I started screaming for my wife. When 911 got there, they did an EKG, noticed that it was significant for a heart attack. They transmitted that to our emergency room department. The physicians were on standby. They saw the EKG. They knew he was having a heart attack. So by the time he got here, we were ready. Yeah, I was actually finishing another emergency with another patient. The patient was on the table when I received a call from the emergency room letting me know that there was another patient, a young man in the emergency room uh, with a heart attack, and he came straight up. So I, when I got to the hospital, I'm in unbearable pain, and, and then I was rushed into the cath lab. What we do here in the cardiac cath lab is um, a procedure called a diagnostic heart catheterization, which looks at a patient's um, arteries that supply their heart muscle with blood. And if there is a blocked artery, we are able to fix that with an angioplasty and a stent. We perform this by putting a catheter into his groin uh, and threading it up through the major artery in the body called the aorta. Uh, and placing the tip of the catheter in the coronary artery, which is the artery that supplies blood to the heart. There's a wire that we pass through this catheter that's about the size of a human hair. Uh, we pass it through the blockage just by basically manipulating it with our hands. We move a stent that's loaded on a balloon, and we can see exactly what we were missing before, which is this very large vessel that wraps around the front of the heart. The second that they have the cath in your body and they get that that artery open, the pain disappears immediately. Paoli has recently achieved uh, a distinction as a, uh, as a chest pain center. It means that we are able to achieve the absolute highest level of results when it comes to, uh, to cardiac patients and when it comes specifically to patients having a heart attack. The times that we have established for door to balloon times really wouldn't, have, wouldn't be as low as they are without a smoothly functioning team. And the standard that we're being held to and everyone else across the nation is 90 minutes. Jeffries is an excellent example of a case in which everything worked well. All the pieces fell into place. His door to balloon time was 38 minutes and it's really tough to beat that. The odds they give you on, on that particular artery are 50-50. 50 percent of the people who have that one blocked make it, the other 50 percent don't. So, you know, those are not great odds, you know, <laughs> one in two. So um, I feel fortunate that we were close and we got there in time and they were able to get that done. So I think a lot of things lined up for me where there was essentially no damage done at all to my heart at all, zero.